we wear uh, these coveralls, hairnets, and boots, not really to protect the humans or the people that are coming inside the houses, but we want to protect our chickens. We have this enclosed environment, and we want to keep it safe for them, and part of that is being biosecure. We use the dry chlorine um, foot pan to, as just another further precaution, so you step in that. If there is anything on the bottom of your boot, it's going to be killed before you enter the house. I have on-farm shoes and clothing that I wear just on the farm. I make sure that I'm coming straight from home here to the farm. I don't allow anyone access into my houses. I don't allow anyone access into the farm itself. When the chicks start out, they don't have any feathers. They start out with down, so they're all, they're all going to have this yellow down throughout their whole body. And as they mature, they'll start to lose that, and they'll start growing in, you know, what you traditionally see on birds, these feathers. and. Um, and that, that's one of the reasons that we change the temperature in the houses is when they're babies and they've got this down, they can't um, control their own body temperature as much. So we control the temperature in the houses for them. And then as they get older, you can hear in the background that we've got fans running. And we use that to help cool them off once they get these feathers cover covering their body. When birds are placed in the house, that's their time that they're gonna learn where the feed and water's at. Um, so immediately after placement, they're gonna, the producer's gonna encourage them to walk to the feed lines, walk to the water lines, and they'll learn how to use that nipple drinker and go into the feed pans and, and get their feed there. Well, as you can see here, the broilers are grown in open floor plan barns, so there's no cages. Um, they have plenty of room to roam and, and uh, commune with other birds and eat and drink. When you're looking throughout the house and, and walking with the birds, you'll notice that there's going to be, you know, areas where the birds are more combined together in little clumps, and then there's going to be areas of wide open space where you can see, you know, the floor of the house. And that's just because of, of the natural communal behavior of the poultry. The, sometimes they want to just be cuddled up to each other, and other times they want to have alone time, run off by themselves, but you're never going to see really them just completely spread out throughout the house. They're going to want to commune together.